six. First of all, with the request for donations, we had a request go out about nine o'clock in the morning asking for individuals who could assist or who would be willing to adopt um, in the children who were affected by the fire. And I believe that brought a response of 20 to 30 individuals and it snowballed out from there. And that's just one of dozens of volunteers who helped more than 50 people who were displaced by a fire on Christmas Eve. And tonight we have learned that this Spartanburg County fire was no accident at all. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey spoke to a fire department today and one of those agencies involved in the recovery process. She joins us live now from Crown Point Apartments, Georgia Reed, upsetting updates to the story tonight. That's absolutely right. The deputy fire marshal of the Spartanburg Fire Department tells me the fire was intentionally set. Half of the building is a total loss, but property managers have been working to remove water from those apartments that are still livable. But coming out of this situation is a community that's coming together to show the true meaning of the holidays. The Spartanburg Fire Department says someone set the fire on purpose, leaving 54 people without a home, 19 of them children, hoping for a Christmas miracle. A city of Inman, uh, last weekend we had a fun run to raise toys, uh, toy donations for children in that area. And they reached out to us with uh, toys that they had left over to supplement what was, what was donated yesterday. Several agencies, including the county's community emergency response team, took time away from their family bit, yeah. to make sure those impacted by the fire were taken care of. If you can help, you should help. It's just how I was raised, and it's good to know that uh, I look around and I see other people in CERT that do, you know, a lot more than I do. People donated money, food, and even baby supplies. But most importantly, people gave their time. Um, until you see someone like that, you know, they not lost their home and everything they had. But people took time out of their own livelihood, took time out of their own uh, family, away from their family at a time like this on Christmas to you know, reach out to people they don't even know in the community. Uh, so it was a very warm feeling for me, um, you know, to see that happen. The department is still working to try to figure out how exactly the fire started, but they have narrowed it down to an outside breezeway. They'll be conducting interviews with residents and neighbors over the next few days to try to get some more details about how it all started. In Spartanburg, Georgery Godfrey, 7 News. Georgery, it sounds like investigators are making some headway on this investigation. Any sense as to how close they are to naming at least a person of interest? No word yet on an exact person of interest, but they have narrowed it down to potential suspects as far as living in this building. Now, like I said, they will be continuing their investigation, talking to those who may have seen something before those flames broke out early yesterday morning. All right, Georgia Reed, thanks so much. The Red Cross is helping more families whose homes were damaged in